Hello and welcome to Upsar Sci, the scientific page of Upsar Eye Center. Today's presentation is about smartphone ophthalmoscopy. And simply, smartphone ophthalmoscopy is how to obtain a clear retinal image using only your smartphone's built-in camera. All the instruments you need are 20 diopters standard bio lens. I prefer the clear field lens from Volk, smartphone with a built-in camera and light. You have to turn the flash on before you start recording as clarified here and then it's better to zoom in and then you can start recording the video. I call this technique smartphone indirect ophthalmoscopy. Performing smartphone indirect ophthalmoscopy has comparable readability and reproducibility to binocular indirect ophthalmoscopy with some advantages and disadvantages. It takes just a few seconds to align the lens with the smartphone. Once they are aligned with the proper distance apart, a clear image is visible. Right hand, left hand, the retina should keep at the same axis as clarified in this image. Both right and left hands should keep compensating patient's movement throughout the session. In conventional binocular induct ophthalmoscopy, patient's movement is compensated by moving only one hand and the examiner's head. This is, in my viewpoint, the key maneuver difference between binocular induct ophthalmoscopy and smartphone induct ophthalmoscopy two hands versus one hand. Now examining the superior retina, the lens shall be tilted in different directions to redirect the, the undesirable light reflections away from the camera lens as clarified here. Each side should be brought front and back to adjust the lens reflections. Now lifting the upper load with one finger to facilitate visualizing the inferior retina. You can freeze the video anytime to obtain a still image. Now focusing on the nasal retina. You see how is it easy. Because light is diffused, patient may get exhausted faster than binocular and ophthalmoscopy, so try to act as fast as possible. Another drawback is that both hands are holding the stromen, so you cannot control patient's head direction with your hand as with binocular and ophthalmoscopy. But imagine you can obtain a retinal image anytime, anywhere, just with a smartphone and a bio lens. Now I carry my lens in my laptop bag so that I can perform a direct ophthalmoscopy whenever needed outside the office. It's very easy, simple and reproducible. Just try it. Just needs to be repeated several times for training. Thank you.